Welcome back to the Golf Lot YouTube channel. Today I am making a video that I never thought I would be making. If you guys have watched any of my videos, you'll know that I am not the biggest fan of longer irons. And so with that in mind, the Golf Lot team thought it would be a great idea for me to test out some driving irons to see if the new tailor-made driving irons could be the clubs that change my opinion on those longer iron shots. Before we get into the video, if you haven't already, please make sure you're subscribed to the Golf Lot YouTube channel. We know that the majority of you guys watching are not subscribed to the channel. It doesn't cost you anything, it's just one click and it massively supports us. So please make sure you've subscribed if you've ever enjoyed any of our videos. So we've got the TaylorMade PUDI and PDHY. Now the UDI is more of that classic thin driving iron, whereas the DHY has a little bit more of a backing, potentially a little bit more forgiveness. Now there's a lot of technology in there that we tend to see with other tailor-made golf clubs, such as the Speed Foam Air and through slot speed pockets. They also both have a new weighting structure with up to 26 grams of tungsten weighting, but the main difference that we're gonna see between these two clubs, other than obviously the fact that the DHY has a bigger backing to it, is the CG position. So with the DHY, we're seeing a lower CG, which is gonna help golfers launch the ball up a little bit higher, not as high as a hybrid would go, for example, but definitely higher than the UDI, which has more of a mid CG to help golfers get that penetrating low ball flight. So we're here at the 17th tee at Stockport Golf Club. This is a classic scenario where you might be thinking you're a little bit apprehensive about taking driver. There's a lot of danger here. It's a very tight hole and you just want something that you can guarantee is gonna go straight down the middle. So we're gonna see if these can be the clubs to help me do that. I'm not convinced, but we're about to find out. All right, so as you can see, we've got bunkers down the left, bunkers down the right. I'm just looking to thread one down the middle here. We're gonna go straight in with the UDI, that thinner driving iron. I'm facing my fears straight on, and we're gonna see if I can pull this shot off. I'm actually a little bit in shock that I was able to hit that. It's a good start. We'll see if we can do any better with the DHY. So the UDI is very, very thin at address. There's not much there to give you a little bit of added confidence. Whereas with the DHY, we have got a nice little bit of backing there. At address, it almost looks more like a hybrid than it does an iron. So I am feeling a little bit more comfortable stood over this shot than I was with the UDI. Straight down the middle. Easy. <laughs> All right, so kept myself in play off the tee. You've got the UDI, which landed here, and the DHY that got me all the way down the middle of the fairway, which I was really, really pleased with. I'm actually excited to go out to some of the other tees, hit more shots with these irons, and see how we get on. Got a tricky little par four up next with a dog leg up to the left-hand side. Really just need something off the tee that we can get into position. Looks like you wanna be hitting something around 190 yards, which I'm thinking is gonna be perfect for these clubs if we can get a good strike going. Just the exact shot that you want here. <laughs> Definitely quite a different feel on those two clubs. The DHY is a lot easier to hit. I feel like I'm able to swing it with a little bit more power. It'll be interesting to see the differences in terms of the distance if this one is going a little bit further than the UDI. We're going to stay out here on the course, hit a few more shots with these and then head over to Hooks to get the data from Foresight and talk you guys through how we're getting on with these irons. Okay, so we've got the data here from Hooks. So we're gonna go through the Foresight report to see what was going on in terms of the distances, the ball speeds that we were getting with the DHY and the UDI. So starting off with the distances, they were really, really similar 
with both the carry and the total only being one yard out, with the UDI going that one yard extra distance, but they were both very, very similar throughout. The ball speeds were almost exactly the same, with the average ball speed coming out at only 0.1 difference between them, so very, very similar. And we also saw that the spin rates were very similar between the two clubs with the DHY just having that slightly higher spin, but only by a couple hundred RPM. The other thing that we saw from the Foresight report was that both the peak height and the launch angle for the DHY were ever so slightly higher than the UDI. But to be honest, that's exactly what we were expecting with the technology and what these clubs are designed to do. So the question is, have these irons changed my mind on driving irons? As you guys know, I'm not a fan of those longer irons, but I was really impressed with both of these clubs, both for slightly different reasons. So my favorite out of the two was definitely the UDI, which was not at all what I was expecting. I've always been a hybrids player, so I was definitely expecting to prefer the DHY. However, with the UDI, what I was finding was if you struck it in the center, it just felt so good at impact. Whereas with the DHY, I didn't have any of those shots where I was like, wow, that strike, that felt really, really good. However, with the DHY, I did feel as though every single shot that I hit worked out really well, got me really central down the fairway because there just seems to be so much forgiveness behind that club. That forgiveness isn't quite there, with the UDI to the same extent. However, there is still way more forgiveness in the UDI than I ever expected to see in a driving iron. Obviously, the other difference that we had between them was the type of shot shape we were getting with the DHY launching that bit higher. For me, if I was ever looking to put a driving iron in the bag, I would want one that is going lower, having that penetrating ball flight because I play a lot of Lynx golf. So for that reason, I would be looking to put the UDI in the bag over the DHY, but to be honest, I would happily play with either of those clubs out on the course. I was honestly very shocked at how easy these irons were to hit compared to say like a hybrid. I was not expecting to like them so much and to enjoy the strike and to perform so well with them. So I would definitely say if you are the type of player who has talked yourself into this idea, that you can't play those longer irons, that you need to be hitting hybrids, you definitely want to give these a try and see how you get on. You might be as shocked as I was with the performance and you might really like these irons. But I would definitely say to give these a try if you're considering putting a driving iron in the bag. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please make sure that you subscribe to the Golf Lot YouTube channel and drop us a like on this video. Let me know down in the comments what you think if you're considering trying these out. Thank you guys for watching and subscribe for more.